Hey YouTube, so today I've got a real treat, a real project for you. So we're going to do a video on how to clean this up. This vehicle has been sitting up under a tree for a while. And as you can see, look at that. Oh my God, that is horrible. Looks like this car needs to be repainted. It's got mold and, and stuff growing all over it. Look at the windows there. Those are horrible. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, can. I'm going to put this in high definition so you can really see the dirt there. But check this out. So, um, one of my customers had this vehicle and it's sitting and they use this vehicle. And, well, they don't use this vehicle, but they decide they want to re start using this vehicle so that they can go fishing. They want to use it to drive down to the beach and had me pick it up. And so, I'm going to restore and get this vehicle back to going. First thing that we want to do in a situation like this is get the vehicle running and upon inspection of the vehicle we found that the alternator pulley was locked up the idler pulley is worn out the serpentine belt is off of the car it's chewed all the pieces and that reason it broke probably is because that alternator is locked up um, and then the lady said she drove it and um, it broke and she parked it and never you know, paid any attention to it to get it fixed or anything. So it looks like the water pump is, is still good and that idler pulley there is good. So we're going to put a battery in it first. And then after we put a battery in it, uh, we're going to put an alternator in it and a battery and that and the pulley to get it started. And once we get it started, then we're going to clean it up. And that's really what this video is about, how to clean it up. I'll show you a product that can make real easy light work of this. And it's not going to take too long to do. And it's not going to have to be a whole lot of scrubbing either. And it looks like I need to scrub this stuff off in here. But I'm just going to use a good old fashioned cleaner. And then I'm going to use, uh, take this thing over to the car wash and pressure wash it off. We're even going to get the top up here too. So stick around, show you a quick little trick in case you ever have a car or something that you need to get cleaned up. It looks horrible like that. Um, yeah, we'll be right back. Is we need to get cleaner to clean that. And as you can see, there's a whole selection of stuff here at various prices. But what we're going to use is this right here. Yeah, look at that. And it's only a dollar for the spray bottle. And it's three dollars for the... 64 ounce size. So since this is a big vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and get about two. Well, I'll just go ahead and get all of what they have. I've got a few more projects I need to do. So that's what three, six, nine, twelve dollars right there. And I have plenty of spray bottles, but I'm kind of lazy today, so I'm going to go ahead and get two spray bottles. All right, so yeah, that's what three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen dollars worth of cleaner. And we're going to take this cleaner and clean that van. And I'm not even going to use all of that cleaner. I just like to keep some in stock. And being that this stuff actually sells pretty well. And they're kind of out of it. Mostly thanks to me because I come here and buy this stuff a lot. Um, <laughs> go ahead and get that. And um, we're going to get back to the van and get that thing cleaned up and show you how to do it. So here we are. Here's a product we're going to use for this. And it's going to be real simple, we're just basically going to spray it down. And uh, then after we spray it down, we're going to go over to the car wash and then we're going to pressure wash it. Get that stuff up in there. Now, it's a windy day today, so you want to have some eye protection on because you don't want this to spray in your eye. See how that's turning green there? I've got my crew I'm spraying the rest of the vehicle down. I'm going to do this little quick section here and I want to show you something. A bit. Yep, let it run down. Alright, so I've got that section sprayed. Give me just a minute. I'm going to get a rag and I'll show you something real neat. All right, so here we go. We've got this sprayed down. Let it sit for a little bit. Look at that. 
Look at that. See that? That's just a spraying and wiping. Not really hard. There's no spray and wipe. Alright. Again, so that we have this spray it down, let it sit for a little bit, and then take it just a, this is just knitted cloth here. And look at that, we just wipe it away, okay? And that's like years of tree mold, allergy, um, tree pollen, it's just grew, built up on the vehicle. So, and like I say, it doesn't take much, you just spray that on there and you can either wipe it off <laughs> or, you know, in this case, you can go to the car wash and spray it off. We'll go to the car wash and spray it off. It makes it a whole lot faster. But it's just amazing that you can just take this stuff and you can spray it and wipe and get that off. And that is a good, nice, clean piece, piece of the door right there. So, as you can see, before, after, before, after. So, I got my boy spraying this down, and then we're going to take it to the car wash once we get it running. And, uh, heck, we might just wipe this thing off, <laughs> save on water, a little bit of conservation there. But, um, even on glass, there's a piece of glass there, we've sprayed it, look at that, it just comes right off, comes right off, boom, boom. Now, obviously, I'm going to wash this off because I don't want this stuff to eat down into the paint. It's a pretty good stuff. It'll, it'll do the job if you leave it on there too long. Um, and I don't want to damage the clear coat. So, we'll spray it down. Let it sit for a little while. And then we'll wash it off. I'll come back. I'll show you what the clean version looks like. So we'll get the top, we'll get the tires. Hey, spray the tires and wheels down too. Yeah, I told the owner when we get through with this vehicle, she wasn't even, she probably wouldn't recognize it because it's totally different. She's an older lady, very nice lady. Um, retired, her husband's retired military, over 21 years of service. Thank you for your service, sir, if you're watching this video. And anyone else in the armed forces, thank you for your service. Um, that's really true to my heart. My father's a 20 plus year military vet from uh, the United States Army. Um, but back to business here. Um, she wanted me to clean this up so her and her husband could go fishing. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to help you do that. <laughs> At first, she was thinking of scrapping the vehicle. And I said, there's no need of scrapping the vehicle. I mean, we can clean it up and we can fix it. So. Put a new alternator on, new belt. We're gonna start it up, get it going. She's gonna have her a nice vehicle to, to run up and down the streets and to go fishing. The inside of this vehicle is absolutely superb. This is a 99 Dodge Ram van. And like I said, it is so clean in here. I was like, ma'am, it doesn't make sense to scrap the vehicle. There's a, a view from the inside of the windows looking out and you can see all that crud and dirt there so the inside's done it's nice and clean remember the old school big tv square tvs yeah i'm gonna talk to her about upgrading that to a flat screen and oh my gosh remember the old vcrs i know some of the younger people probably don't know what that is that's a vcr you take a tape stick it in there you know this was before the days of um dvd players or cd players and yeah, so this is some nice old school technology, but this van is in superb shape. It even has a bed that folds down in the back. Leather seats, the leather's in good shape. So uh, we're going to get this up and running. Look at that old school. Oh my gosh, there's a cassette tape. <laughs> How many of you guys remember a cassette tape? I'm old enough to remember the old 8-track, um, which was a whole lot bigger. Look, high power, 30 watts. Wow. <laughs> Oh man, what a classic. Alright, we're going to get back to cleaning and I'll come back 
when this vehicle's been sprayed down and once we have it clean, let you see what it looks like. All right, so there you go. We've um, cleaned it up. Now you can see the after view. There's a few more little specks on here. We're gonna go through and do the glass, shine the glass up. But as you can see, we've got all of that mold and fungus off of the vehicle. The vehicle looks great. Before it looked like it needed a paint job, but now, as you can see, you don't need a paint job. I might do a little bit of wax on there to buff it out real good. That'll bring that paint back to life. But uh, as you can see, the Awesome does a ultimate, a very awesome job on removing um, all that debris and dirt and, and mold and mildew that was on there. As you can see, we cleaned up under the hood there, had a little oil and stuff in there. Put a new alternator on the vehicle. Also had to put a new idler pulley on the vehicle. A new serpentine belt. Like I say, this vehicle sat for, I think the lady said about five years. Uh, need to go through and do our mirrors and stuff. But, you know, the big portion of the job of the cleaning is pretty much done. Now we'll go through and do some fine tuned detailing on it to get it really ship shake so she can take it to the beach. But other than that, that's all I wanted to share with you, YouTube. Remember how that used to look up there? That's clean now. But other than that, that's all I wanted to share with you. If you have any questions or comments, please post, chat. Love to hear from you. And if you have a project like that, heck, try that awesome out. And it'll make light work of your job, and you'll be able to get it done real quick. Until next time.